What's up everybody? Alex here with, you guessed it, another cup of coffee. No new baseball cards today. Um, I do have two autographed baseballs that I just picked up that are on the way that I'll be pretty excited to share with y'all once they come in, but I have been really focused on doing a kind of a dig into the history of the 53 set. So I'm sure anybody that's familiar with this set, if you had to pinpoint the main unique element of this set, it would have to be the photography. Um, everything from the poses to the lens choice to the lighting, the way the color turned out and the printing, just everything about these photographs is just iconic in my opinion. And really, to me, they're heads and tails above just about everything else. It's gotten to the point where, to me, these, these photographs, um, you can just spot them a mile away. They just are so different from everything else, not just from their era, but really just in general. And because of that, I find it really crazy that I just cannot, for the life of me, figure out who actually took all of these photographs. I would think that those people would be really commonly known, at least in the baseball card industry or in, you know, sport photography. But for whatever reason, I just cannot find any information about them. Early on, I was kind of curious about it, went looking around about it more than a year ago. The only information I was able to come across was just the fact that people pretty much thought they were New York photographers, which makes sense since the majority of the photographs were taken either at the Polo Grounds or at Yankee Stadium. And that likely the photographers were in the magazine world at the time. So they were shooting for Look Magazine, Life, the New York Times, National Geographic, and probably even Sports Illustrated. So one idea I had was if I started looking around at baseball magazines from 1952-1953, maybe I'd get lucky and come across something. And so I started kind of searching on eBay, and lo and behold, I came across this, and my eyes just about popped out of my head. So this is the baseball yearbook, as you can see, published by True, the man's magazine. And this came out in 1953, so it's just the right era. And it's pretty obvious right off the bat that all four of these photographs are definitely from the sessions that were done for the 1953 Moment Color set. But what's really interesting about them is that these are alternate poses, not the poses that ended up on the cards. So I do not have the Hank Sauer and I don't have the Mantle card yet, but I do have the Chance and the Robin Roberts. So if we do a little kind of comparison here, you can see what ended up on the card versus what ended up on this magazine cover. So it's pretty obvious to me at least that this is from the same day. It's clearly the polo grounds in the background. And the only difference is the magazine version is Robert's winding up. And the one they picked for the card is him with his follow through. So of course, you know, when they shot these photographs, they probably shot 12 or 15 or maybe more of each player. And then, you know, somebody came along, the editor came along and said, you know, let's go with, let's go with this one for the card. But they have all these other shots of Roberts and the photographer, I'm sure, wanted to make a little extra cash. So they licensed them out to magazines. We can take a look at uh, Bobby Shantz here. Same day, same blue clouds, and almost the same expression even, same lighting. What's kind of cool about it is that you know, kind of like a look behind the scenes as to what the options were before they ended up choosing the end result. Now, like I said, I don't have 
the Hank Sauer or the Mantle, but I'll, I'll kind of hold this here and I'll add those two cards in editing so that you can kind of see the comparison. The Sauer one is actually very, very similar. The Mantle one, of course, is very different. And it's really interesting because the Mantle card is, is pretty iconic. It's, of course, by no means as iconic as as his rookie tops card, but um, but I have to say I like this alternate pose. It's pretty cool. Also, if you take a look at uh, his patch here on his shoulder, all the Yankees in the 53 set feature that patch. So you can see here the Ali Reynolds card. Has it nice front and center. All right, so pretty excited to have found this. And you can imagine that once I got it, I was very excited to be able to actually open it up and look around inside and see if I could find out who the heck took all these pictures. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and take you guys through it. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and spoil it right off the bat. Um, there is absolutely no information in the entire magazine about who took the photographs. And you can see, like on every page, there's a bunch of photographs. Not one of them has a byline. So I have no idea. So the, the search continues, but it's kind of cool looking through this thing. Um, you can see all the, the team breakdowns for the year. You know, these are not photographs that were taken by anybody working for Bowman. These are just sort of team publicity photographs. But uh, still pretty cool to see all these players and many of them are recognizable. There's Sam Jethro down there. Pretty interesting to see what was going on in the early 50s. There's a couple really cool articles in here. There's this great article about um, Satchel Paige. This is Satchel apparently in his bathroom having caught some giant fish. Um, something that apparently he loved to do. So there's a lot of really great stuff in here. Um, just from the, from the era. There's the Mick. But unfortunately, no information about who took these photographs. So the mystery continues. Um, but no doubt I'm pretty excited about having found this. And I actually just found another magazine that I've bought on eBay and it's on the way. So I'm gonna keep looking around I'm also hoping that maybe somebody out there is really knowledgeable about this set and can shed some light on it. So thanks for checking out the video guys and talk to you all soon.